Alright, hello and welcome everyone here to Star Ladder Season 11 Europe. A lot of Star Ladder going on right now. Hopefully you're watching all of it. We've got uh, Europe here, Beyond the Summit 2, Beyond the Summit proper, I believe is finishing up Southeast Asia and Dota Star Ladder underscore EN is currently doing China and or vice versa. I think there's one more game there each. Uh, but either way, I'm Helium today. We've got a lot of fantastic games. Some big names going to be playing today. We'll start off with Virtus Pro going against the Vega Squadron. They were formerly known as the Euro Pub, Euro PB, Arzek, Stelaner, Nun, Seema the Slayer, and I guess Nine Pasha is the Vega Squadron. And already they've started off things, well, not too out of the ordinary with either of the picks, but not something we see a whole lot. First picking Elder Titan and Phoenix. More the Phoenix being the standout pick here. Um probably going to be played in the offlane, I would think. That's where I think the hero is best suited, just that utility offlane, which means Elder Titan probably going to be a support instead of an offlaner, which, again, is common stuff. Um, I don't know if we've seen the two together so much, although I'm sure it's happened with Phoenix being added, Elder Titan being extremely popular. But let's look over to Virtus Pro. They've already picked up an Ogre and a Venomancer. And I... I know a lot of people are saying the support Venomancer, not their favorite thing these days, and I, I think I would agree. So, Virtus Pro, they're a team that will even pick Lena for God to play in the middle lane. So I would not be surprised the Venomancer is a core Ogre Magi probably being a support. But the Venomancer does still remain slightly an ambiguous pick. Like, it could support, it could core. They can change it as the draft progresses if they feel the need. Uh, but we can go back and look at some of these bands. Abaddon, Skyrath taking out, looking over at Virtus Pro. It's the Phantom Assassin and the Slark that will be dropped out. Those uh, really hard to bring down agility cores. PA obviously with the blur, a lot of added dexterity there. Slark with the Shadow Dance and just so incredibly hard to kill. Even if you get the jump on him, he can still escape most of the time if he gets dark packed off. So they'll remove both of them and they'll go for the Lycan. So we've got maybe a mid Venomancer, possibly safe lane Venomancer, mid or safe lane Lycan already. You're looking at a lot of push. Granted, Vega Squadron pretty good at dealing with it. Elder Titan, if he gets some levels early on, or really even without some levels, pretty hard to push into. Phoenix with the Sunray, uh, with the long range of the Firebirds, can also be kind of hard to push into, slowing down your attack speed. Uh, Dazzle, uh, they can maybe force fights around the towers to protect them with Dazzle, get a good weave, go in with the increased armor. Maybe an extra life with Shallow Grave. And Virtus Pro, they're like, yeah, Star Ladder, 11, best of one. Let's uh, let's go full push. They'll pick up Nature's Prophet as well. So I'm expecting Venno like and Nature's Prophet will be their three core heroes there. Probably going to look at uh, Vega Squadron banning out a support. I think Virtus Pro will be picking a support. Uh, as for what Virtus Pro might ban here... Zeus, it depends what they think Zeus is doing. I feel like they'll ban another support. Maybe remaining. it'll be a, a support-ish offlane, maybe even a duo lane Zeus, Five something out of the remaining. ordinary, and they might ban maybe a mid-hero. Uh, well, Slark's already it's banned. Like, the Slark-Zeus combo is something you'd think about removing at this point, but it has already been removed before the Zeus was even picked. I don't think they'd go... Was Yeah, Skyrath was banned anyways. I thought maybe damage amp along with the Zeus would be good. They'll take out Void, so they're still banning some core heroes. Oh yeah, they must pick a core hero, so it has to be support Zeus. They don't even have a one roll yet on Vega Squadron, so... Well, I mean, I guess Dazzle can do it. We saw EG kind of throwing that about uh, during the Summit 2. Uh, Vengeful Spirit, yeah, so they're banning out that support. Vengeful Spirit probably would have been really, really good with that added aura. I'm thinking now maybe they go for a for Witch Doctor could work, just the heal to keep up. Like You're going to have your Lycan Wolves, your Necronomicon units, Nature's Prophet will have Treants with potentially Necronomicon units, so the heal from Witch Doctor to keep everything alive seems like a, a pretty reasonable proposition. Although, Witch Doctor's cask is a little slow, so you might, like, you can't cancel Phoenix Icarus Dive immediately. Obviously Ogre can, but you're looking at Venomancer, Lycan, Nature's Prophet. You might want a more uh, or a quicker stun, or just more stuns in general. So I feel like any support with the stun would be a pretty good one. Venge, I mean, she has two, right? And one of them pierces BKB, so she was clearly a good pick for that reason alone, not to mention the aura and the armor reduction. 
that can come from that hero, obviously. Both of them helping push. Enigma. And they'll go with Enigma. All right, so you're going to have some Eidolons in there as well. He's got a stun with his Malefice. Another one with the Black Hole. Possibly a five-man Black Hole. You never know quite what you're going to get. So, yeah, I would I would say Virtus Pro going for the, the pretty cheesy lineup here. It's going to be up to Vega Squadron to try and stop it. And it's not like it's a cheesy lineup that's just going to, like, immediately fall off. Like, they've got Nature's Prophet. Enigma can get some big items. The threat of a refresher black hole in the late game is terrifying. Ogre Magi can even get more stuns if he gets the Aghanim Scepter for the Unrefined Fire Blast, which can actually still do a lot of the late game with the back-to-back four-time multicasts, as long as the RNG is with you. The Rat Dota from the Nature's Prophet. Lycan, I mean... We've seen Arteezy take that hero into the late game plenty of times with that Abyssal Blade, sometimes even the Blink Abyssal Blade. So they can definitely do it. Can Vega Squadron, though? They don't even have their core hero, and it won't be Void. That was the ban out by Virtus Pro. Maybe a Spectre. I mean, seems reasonable if you've got a Zeus, but I don't know if Spectre's your choice here because if you're going to need to start defending towers at the 10-minute mark or even earlier than that, uh, she might not be up to the task. Maybe, I don't know, if Life Stealer is a hero that can fight decently early. You might want someone with some wave clear. Maybe like a Sven. But even then, he'll be pretty BKB dependent. And then even then, you can still get kited by Venomancer through the BKB. So, seems like a pretty tough choice. I wouldn't want to have to pick a hero right now. I mean, I'd obviously want five heroes, but... Good luck, is what I would say. And they're taking their time thinking about it. 25 seconds left. I think uh, people are saying Visage or Brood in chat. I'm assuming that says maybe another pick. Oh, that's that's actually the pick, I think. Uh, obviously Ember Spirit with the sleight of fists. I think he's really, really good at stopping push when it comes from these sort of zoo strategies where you've got a ton of summonable units like the Treants, really all of them making an appearance in this game. I guess no Forge Spirits. Invoker maybe would have been a decent pick somewhere for Virtus Pro 2. Uh, but either way. Sleight of fists, you get that Battle Fury up, maybe 18, 20, 25 minutes, I don't know, somewhere in that window. The earlier the better, obviously, you can really start to shut down the push, just cleaving away the Eidolons, the Treants. Maybe the Necro units aren't going to be one shot for a while. Uh, and what is the other summonable unit here? The Lycan Wolves? There's also Plague Wards, which Sleight of Fist won't work on, uh, which you'd probably want to clear those out. But they're not quite as deadly, and they don't move on you, which is another kind of good thing about them. Uh, looks like we'll we'll be delayed and then we'll launch into a pause. I think that's generally how it works. But it shouldn't be too much longer. Can maybe even start introducing the teams here. I've cast Europub, which is now Vega, like one time before. Seema the Slayer was the only player that I, I really recognized uh, on their lineup the first time I cast them. Now I, I do kind of remember Pasha playing for them. I'm not so sure about the other members or if none is maybe a stand-in or, or whatnot. Uh, our Zach, I know, played for them when I cast them, so it looks like they've probably found a pretty stable roster. It looks like they were able to pick up a sponsorship uh, in whatever Vega might be. If you don't know, maybe we can just look it up. We can find out together. As Virtus Pro, they've, they've been playing pretty well recently. God has been really impressing me. Sure, that was like a couple, maybe like a month ago since I've really cast Virtus Pro, but God, I feel like every time he's in the mid lane, no matter what hero you put him on, he goes God-like. He lives up to his name. Uh, I recall him playing a lot of Lena. It looks like they'll give him a little more uh, of a standard hero. Not that Lycan shows up in the mid lane all that often, but he'll be playing the Lycan there. Quelling Blade, Stout Shield to start. I assume he's going mid. Yeah, it looks like he's at the tier 4s running out. Uh, meanwhile, Yol going to be jungling on this Enigma. Jotam not playing Potom. He'll be playing the Ogre Magi. Going to be roaming around, zoning in the offlaner, and maybe rotating it with a smoke along with Yol. 
Uh, a lot of times Enigma will purchase that smoke as soon as it hits six. Rotate using that black hole, get a kill even if it's on one person. If the ogre goes with them, they might not even need to use the black hole. They can use it for, for something else later. Maybe get a pick off, push a tower, and still have the threat of the black hole. Seems like a possibility for them. We've got Sadoi playing on the Nature's Prophet. Uh, did we already look bottom? We've got, who's down here? We've got BZZ playing the Venomancer, and yeah, it will be a core Venomancer. Not really all that surprising. Uh, looking back over at Vega, that's actually the team we're waiting on right now. They were nice and early into the lobby, though, so I feel like we can wait on them. That's only fair. Uh, it'll be our Zek. It looks like he will be playing that offlane Elder Titan, and they're going to duo lane it here with the Phoenix. So you've got the Astral Spirit, you've got the Natural Order, and you've got, I mean, by the time you're level 4 on Phoenix, like Icarus Dive, Fire Spirits, not that you really want to use Icarus Dive to go in unless it's for sure going to be a kill, because that's your escape and it's almost a 40 second cooldown, but the Natural Order and just these magic damage over time abilities from Phoenix and a duo offlane could be pretty frustrating and it could slow down the farm of this Venomancer considerably. Not that the hero needs much. Get a bass, get a mechanism. And you're looking at, what, like 2,700 gold? He doesn't need to farm that much to come online. Uh, it will stop the pushing of this tower. They're not going to lose their offlane tower extremely quick. It's not going to accelerate maybe the supports, the Lycan in the mid lane who might struggle or something like that. As you would think Lycan might want to go for a... Uh, I feel like you expect... Maybe they're not expecting Zeus in the middle lane. These are probably expecting Ember. That's probably why he didn't go for the Magic Wand, because you don't need a Quelling Blade to get your last hits on Lycan. You definitely don't need a Quelling Blade to out deny Zeus. Eh, maybe you do, because he's 85 with Arc Lightning, but... It's not like he's going to be denying you. You can't Arc Lightning to deny your creeps, and what is it, 45 base attack to what would be like 55, I guess, for God, if he didn't have the Quelling Blade? I, I'm sure he'll be purchasing up a magic stick relatively soon. He's looking for the bottom rune right now, though, where Arzek will rotate over Phoenix, I think, is showing himself a little bit there as well. So they're going to get the intel. They know what's up. God, the Icarus dies. Big cooldown to use. And, okay, this is what it is. He's not going mid. He was just the first one leaving the base. God's going to be bottom lane. And I guess I have to take everything back. It is going to be a support Venomancer. Starting with just regen and a ring of protection. No, okay, now Lycan, now I don't feel too crazy. Back to the core Venno. Lycan's back middle. Ogre's chilling over here in the meantime. When with the with these items, it's definitely a support. Got the sentry, got the ward, dropping down that nice protective ward here for the Lycan. And we're gonna have Arzak rotating over, maybe trying to stop the Enigma. There was really no like jungling, de-warding, or warding, blocking the camp shenanigans from Vega. Like, they didn't try to shut down Yol at all. Arzek rotates over, trying to do it now, but he's going to end up giving up first blood. There's no way. Okay, Ignite, I guess only level 1, so there probably is a way he'll get out of here. He also has boots level 1, so that's generally pretty helpful to run away. 295 move speed on the Ogre, 365 on the Elder Titan. Yeah, he'll be fine, not going to up anything. Meanwhile, Phoenix giving, uh... Venomancer, working him up. That heated massage from the fire spirits. The firebirds. And I wonder, I guess they're going to farm the phoenix. Elder Titan, I feel like, really just needs levels. Phoenix would like to get an item. He's going to go for items similar to what BZZ is going to build. Maybe finish that bass. Although Ring of Protection for a phoenix probably goes into the Tranquils. Get the urn, get the mech. Those are basically the most common items on that hero. Uh, it Mech... It's kind of weird, like with the increased mana cost, Phoenix is actually a terrible mech carrier since he's a strength hero. You just don't have the, the mana pool to uh, sustain both mechanism and your ultimate. And we all know that the egg, the sun, the supernova is really important. It's also a really good ability. Uh, oh my god, this is... Okay, they're on opposite teams, but there's a pretty good, pretty good chance for a black hole sun. We might have to queue up the sound garden a little bit later. Uh, but anyways... That is a problem with Phoenix. Phoenix players know it. Phoenix players are also terrible people. And I'm a terrible person these days. Been playing it a lot since it got added to Captain's Mode. And actually Phoenix in a little bit of trouble. He cancels it! He's a little too quick! Pressing Q! I think he meant to go for the, the W to bring the Fire Spirits out. He cancelled his own Icarus dive. And well, when you cancel your amazing escape after the one stun was used, that's it's a bit of a mistake. Giving up that first blood. Not really what he wanted to do, but... 
we'll look off of that lane. We'll go into middle right now where we see God. 12 and 7 in last hits. Doing pretty well. Looking at no one. He's uh, 12 and 1. So actually both of these heroes are going to get a whole lot. Zeus going to use that invis. Not going to do anything with it. Just bottling up. God out of mana from summoning up the wolves to help last hit in the lane. Let's see if he's going for a bottle or... Yeah, it is coming out to him. Yol also delivered something. That soul ring is finished up. So Yol going to be jungling quicker than ever right now with that full mana sustain. Bringing out those Eidolons. Bottle ready to be crowed back it looks like. Before the 4 minute rune from no one. Bringing out the courier. Both couriers upgraded as well. Let me see if my... Ugh. I made the mistake of binding my courier to a, to a function key which is used in spectator mode. So now when couriers die I can't actually find them. Which is not good. But whatever, I'll fix that problem eventually. Up top, a lane we haven't even looked at right now. Ember Spirit and Dazzle holding their own against Sedoi on the Nature's Prophet. Sedoi right now is... Oh, you're going to die in the mid lane? The Wolves are going to chase you down. Sedoi is thinking about going in for it. And will he will actually run down and guess the wrong way as he tries to get this second blood. Oh, one more attack should do it. There it is. Nice 245 gold for Sedoi. He's got his TP on a 40 second cooldown. He'll wait for the... The creep to take those last hits of the, from the middle tier one and hook it out of there with the kill. And that's, well, some of the power of Nature's Prophet in the offlane. He's even farming a little bit. Like, he's got 10 last hits. He TP's mid. He finds himself a nice kill. And we've got Pasha in some trouble. Five seconds on the Icarus dive. He'll loop around. That, is that a new path? Like, I thought you had to cut down the tree. I guess I'm crazy. And he'll Icarus dive away. Gets it off cooldown. The Jukes, he finds them. But look at this, both offlaners. Pasha's got to go back. Eh, he finishes Tranquils. I guess he'll stay in regen. I honestly feel like running back with Tranquils and then running back to the lane and healing would be the same as just staying there, but I guess if it's the same, why move? Elder Titan, meanwhile, working towards his soul ring to sustain that Astral Spirit spam. It looks like he's going to rotate off towards the middle lane. He goes 1-1-1. One, one, one. Getting that stomp. At least you can cancel a TP. Maybe hold someone in place a little bit longer and try to find a kill on an early rotation. And speaking of rotations, I talked about this on the draft. You might see a smoke up here of the Ogre and the Enigma. Looks like it was just the Ogre. They'll throw the Ignite out onto no one. Sadoi going to TP behind in the trees. He'll drop that Sprout down. And who disappears? It's actually Enigma that dies first. Does he just die running into the tower? Meanwhile, like an alt... He'll find the kill on the Zeus. Where did Enigma go down? Yeah, I think he just took one too many tower hits. OP tower. I don't know. I feel like that was uh, maybe not the best decision for the Enigma. You see, yeah. Oh, he did actually go boots. Just boots of speed. Probably going to be on those for a long time. Now in the bottom lane, they're going to get a little bit aggressive on BZZ. No one's respawned. It'll go down there. Lightning Bolt, he'll throw out the ultimate as well. First use of Thunder God's Wrath will be a kill. Phoenix now up to level 5 as he gets some experience off of that. You see the Sage's Mask already. The hero needs that mana regen. He'll also probably turn it into an urn because he's a strength hero to boot, so it's pretty nice. Now bottom lane, Sedoi looking for the rune. He'll find the double damage, but now he's being chased away by Zeus and an Elder Titan. The Astral Spirit Aura currently on Nature's Prophet right now. He's definitely dying right now. Maybe not, maybe not. They need one auto attack. Can he not get in range? He can't get in range. Arzex going the distance for it. One auto attack. He cannot find it. Still chasing Sedoi. At this point, Sedoi can turn around and just attack. There's no mana there. I guess I eat my words. Sedoi not going to go down. Too fast, man. Boots of speed, three null tallies. That's the build. I understand, Elder. That was, like, obviously not really the right move to play. Like, you killed him, but you're also going to die. Give away kill, give away gold experience. But when someone's that low and they're running from you, I very much understand why Elder Titan commits to the chase like that. Uh, BZZ again in trouble in the bottom lane. About to take his third death. 0, 3, and 1. So Vega bringing it to Virtus Pro right now. Uh, the only lanes... Or positions, I guess, going well for VP. Middle lane, doing quite nicely. 38 and 10. 39 and 10 on the last hits. Jungle, they're winning that. Yol will not be bested by neutrals. He's 42 and 1. And uh, I suppose with Nature's Prophet being involved in three kills and having hit a few creeps, offlane's going pretty well for Beardus Pro. However, I think Vega's offlane is doing a bit better. Phoenix is already level 7. If we look at the levels... Elder Titan suffered a bit, I guess, from the duo offlane, as he's only level 5, but 5 at 7.5 minutes, that's pretty good. Like, Elder Titan as a hero, 
I feel like you only look at, uh, you only look at really wanting level 8. Oh, and actually, sun in the bottom. No black hole sun. Oh, they actually attacked it enough. Sadoi comes in, adds another right click, and they will bring down the defenseless egg. No one there to do anything. I'm assuming he only drops the egg because he was about to die. And dies anyways. It's a, it's a big cooldown. Won't be able to use it for another 110 seconds. Oh, Arzek. BZZ wants to find some blood. A Gale and a stun from the high ground here. Arzek will fall. That's God. He's still got half time on his shapeshift. He's going in. Seam of the Slayer. Dazzle. A hero we haven't seen to get involved yet. Zero, zero, and zero. He'll be zero, one, and zero now. Now the Icarus dive coming in. That's a lot of damage onto BZZ. He will drop. They're going to continue to chase as Ember Spirit also. The entire safe lane for Vega TP is down. The turn rate with the Sun Ray isn't good, but he'll find it. It's a double kill for Pasha going the, uh, the pretty standard... Phoenix skill build that I've seen a lot. You get, uh, by the time you're level 7, I guess, you have 2 in Icarus Dive, 4 in Fire Spirits, and 1 in your all, taking that at level 6. And then you just max Sunray. And Sunray, really, really good from that utility offlane. Obviously damages and heals, and there we go. The black hole onto the sun. Light shall not escape. Yol finds the kill. And whatever. I mean, it's a big cooldown. It's 200 seconds, but they got the kill, and they'll be able to push. They've got this, uh, the Plague Wards here and the Eidolons. Tower, they're going to throw out the free Glyph of Fortification. Uh, but the rotation is here. Ember Spirit, the Flame Guard burning. There's not enough magic to take this off whatsoever. They are both going to just disappear. Zeus even TP's down there. He'll find one of the kills. Elder Titan to get the other, and they're pinging out Roche right now. Are they? Or no, they're thinking maybe a ward is there. They're looking to deward this with Lightning Bolt. That makes a little more sense. So like if anyone does Roche, it's going to be Virtus Pro. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <sighs> we'll let uh, we'll let Valve's programming do the observing work now. That's where it's at. Hands-free casting. Sort of, I still have to click, I guess. Um, Alright, Bounty Rune for the Elder Titan. We'll look up at the top rune where God gets double damage. So you know that he's going to want to find another kill uh, with the Shape Shift. So far, Virtus Pro. They've got the number one net worth hero liking out there at 4.6. Zeus, though, doing quite well. No one is at 4k. Ember Spirit with a couple rotations. He's found actually four assists, all coming from that bottom lane, I think. He's at 3.5k, tied with that jungling enigma. We'll go down bottom lane, where the sun going to be dropped. Sadoi going to TP again. Who knew? Nature's Prophet, counter to Phoenix. Just TP to wherever that egg is, uh, harassing your allies and add in some right clicks. Second egg, again, to no avail. It doesn't matter, though, right? Try, try again. He'll eventually find one that works. Very important to land the fiery spirits before you throw out the supernova. That way they can't attack you. But, I mean, if Nature's Prophet is coming in global, we really don't have a chance of that. And now they're going to throw in the Christmas trees, the Eidolons, and the Plague Wards. They've decked the halls here in the bottom lane, and they're finally trying to bring down this tier 1 tower. It is rather low, and it looks like they will find it. The only one down here defending is Elder Titan. Now coming in, it's going to be... The bird himself, Phoenix, looking for the deny. They don't find it. Virtus Pro won't get the last hit either. It goes to the creeps. But that is, uh, that's Tower Blood, right? I think the first one to go down. It is. So we'll take a look at the graphs. 11 minutes in. The kill's very close. Virtus Pro, though, has been leading since the very start of this game. They're about 2,000 gold ahead now. They'll find no one out in the middle lane. They'll bring him down. Ember Spear going to try to get some revenge. Looks like Sadoi probably going to be dropping here as he tries to book it. He's escaped in the past, but not this time. Flame Guard. Actually, it'll be the Shadow Wave that'll bring him down. And We just checked out the gold. About a 3k lead there for VP. Meanwhile, experience, though, with the way the, uh, the dual offlane went. Vegas slightly ahead. Pretty minimal right now. Important is their Zeus level. He's level 10, along with Lycan also being level 10. So that means uh, Thunder God's Wrath Rank 2 is going to be coming up online pretty soon. And then just coming up, we look at some items. We've got a Midas is the choice here for God. Radiant Trying to get to those big late game items attack. pretty fast. He finished up his Vladimir's Offering. We had Mana Boots come out for, I think it was the Ogre. And there's the drums on Ember. Four staff here for the Zeus. Along with that bottle. Uh, Phoenix, yeah, going for the Urn Mech. Pretty much standard. 
Sometimes, I, I don't think I finished the point earlier, you'll see Phoenix go for mana boots, just so you can actually both use your sun and your ultimate, as we see Zeus casting some spells. Actually, Nature's Prophet will die to those spells. So ultimate is used here. Looking for, thinking about the black hole as Yol, but they're going to be put to sleep. There's the sun, and there's no black hole. I don't actually know what happens if you black hole the egg. I'm assuming nothing. But uh, good dive in. Wasn't even, okay, refreshes the cooldown. But yeah, good Icarus dive in with the uh, supernova there from Pasha. Finally gets the one he was looking for. Third time is the charm. And he's only 100 gold for mech. This tower goes down, he's going to have it. Which is really, really big. Looking here to defend his Jotam, but that's a little more than he can handle right now. So that tower will be going down. Sadoi so thinking about TPing in. They want to try to find the deny here, but they won't. Again, the next tower to go down, not going to be last hit by anybody. But they still get it, and that's the mechanism going to be completed here. You see he bought it, now with 80 gold in the bank. Smoke for Elder Titan, so they've got the mech. I feel like Vega, they want to smoke up and utilize that mech in a team fight ASAP, especially Virtus Pro, they're going to maybe try to throw a black hole, try to throw a poison nova, and maybe not realize that the mech is there. Could uh, end up biting off more than they chew, which could lead Vega to taking a, a team fight that's very good for them. There's the nice D ward. Sentry was already down when Elder Titan threw up the ward. Or just kidding. Wait, where is that sentry? There it is. Yeah, I think it was actually already down when he threw up the ward, but I was looking at the dire sentry. I won't try to fool you guys. Uh, what are we going for? Orchid? Treads? Null tally into Orchid? I guess he's getting that for the Ember. Just a earlier lockdown for that Ember. As they'll try to chase Dazzle up in the top lane. God's going to throw out his ultimate. Trying to chase down Seema the Slayer. He's got Grave, though. Looks like he's going to survive. John, I'm going to try to TP away. The chains were used, but he won't be able to. Thunder God's Wrath even used to get that kill. Ember Spirit. The kill goes to Ember Spirit. An assist for Zeus. He's 3-3-7 three, three, and seven off that middle lane with 61 last hits. He is falling behind Lycan in the last hits, which is rather expected. And now we see this push in the top lane. That Tier 1 here will definitely be falling. Y'all thinking about going in, looking for a black hole. But no one's helping him out. They're actually still fighting in the mid lane now, where we see Sadoi just narrowly escape. God now trying to run away. He doesn't have his escape. No shapeshift, no tower. And the stomp will bring him down. They got two points in that stomp. One point in the natural order right now, and up top. And there's the black hole. They'll find the Ember Spirit inside of it, but the Sunray keeping everyone alive and still going to be used to chase down Yol. Stalliner might want to try to get out of this one, and he will take the Spirit. No, he doesn't have any mana to activate the Fire Remnant, so he will drop. It's now 11-17, two for one across the map in trades. Now Sadoi going to come in. There's a nice Sprout onto Pasha. He'll go all-terrain vehicle with the Sunray. It's not going to work out. Now we've got an Earth Split coming in from the back as Zeus and Elder Titan are going to get involved. They'll bring down Jonam. Team of the Slayers there as well. That means Sadoi runs out into enemy territory to escape. And Yol just moves on back. He's also finished up the mechanism on that Enigma. And Sadoi will waste no time in trying to split push out that bottom lane right now. And uh, we'll look at the items. for Staff. We're getting there with the Battle Fury for Ember. 900 gold. He's got the Claymore. Zeus is going four staff into Aghanim Scepter with the point booster and in inventory. Soul Ring, uh, Sage's Mask. I wonder what he's going to build. He was like, I kind of wanted an urn, but Phoenix already got urn on the Elder Titan. Let's look at God's money. He's got the Vladimir's and the Midas. He's got the staff up. He's going for the Necronomicon. 16 minutes in. Doesn't have it yet. But you know, once he gets Necronomicon 1, 3 is going to be there almost immediately. Okay, he's not going Ags. Point booster. Soul booster, excuse me. So, looking at the Bloodstone, I guess, for Zeus? They'll find Sadoi. One Arc Lightning or the Stomp should do it, yeah. Zeus will get the kill there, so a nice easy pick off on Sadoi. He's died three times now. Meanwhile, while they do that, Virtus Pro, they will not let Sadoi die in vain. They'll push down that middle tier one, so taking a little bit of map control there. And they're going to rotate top, take out that jungle while BZZ is uh, bringing down the tier 1. So across the map, Virtus Pro about to get two towers. And it looks like they might even be in position to continue the push onto the tier 2. Or maybe find a pick off. Phoenix sticks his beak into his own jungle. Gets greeted with a fire blast. 
And now I think Vega are on to it. So Virtus Pro going to go for the full retreat. Oh, where's the Spirit? Where's the Spirit? Wants to get the Stomp out. Going to force God to go a different way. Phoenix going to try to slow him down. But doesn't actually have any slows. So I'll try to just chase him down. And with the Sunray, this is one hell of an ability, man. He will actually bring him down. And that's the power of a Phoenix right there. He's got the Sun as well. He might throw it. He will throw it. He's probably still going to go down. But he's done some damage. And he's done a little bit of slowing of which his team... I guess not going to plan to follow up. So he drops. But he killed Lycan, so I think that's definitely worth it. That was the number one net worth hero going down. Probably the highest level. Second highest level. He's 12. So is Phoenix. So is Ember Spirit. Zeus sitting up there at 13, though. And Sedoi now finding some more trouble in the middle lane. About to take his fourth death, and Ember Spirit will deliver it. Ember Spirit involved in 11 of these 21 kills and Vega playing extremely extremely well right now 21 13 they are completely shutting down this sort of cheese push strat from Virtus Pro I mean Virtus Pro they've taken the tier ones they've got some map control and they are still ahead in gold but they're starting to fall pretty far behind in experience a lot of grouping up for these push attempts and it's Vega leading by 4,000 and it's only a slight gold lead uh, while having also the tower lead, so it could be bad news for Virtus Pro if things continue like they are. Sol Ring, yeah, there's the Sol Ring, so very, very close now, only about 500 gold away from going Bloodstone on Zeus. I I'm not sure why. I mean, the mana regen's gonna be sick. Faster respawn is always nice. I don't know. I don't really see it. I'm not really that upset by it either. It seems fun. He's already got the four staff, so I mean, I, I guess I can't complain he didn't go for any mobility. I prefer myself a mobile Zeus. Just being able to stay on the edge of the team fight and cast all your spells is ridiculous. As opposed to having the mana regen to cast all your spells, but then just dying before you use all your mana because you don't have that mobility. Uh, and might not be casting any spells. Sedoi, 20 minutes in, has picked up that Orchid, finally. As Thunder God's Wrath will go out, they would have seen Sedoi TP had he continued it, so he just will cancel it out. Seema the Slayer going to drop a ward here on the, uh, the Warp Gate, as I like to call it. Some of you will know why. Necro 1 finished up here for God. Another 500 gold in the bank, so not too far from upgrading it. I don't think we've seen it deployed yet. It says Wolves will push out the middle lane. Lycan farms the Ancients. BZZ is pushing bottom. Sedoi is pushing top. So Virtus Pro very spread all over the map. Forcing Vega to make those rotations. But Vega are uh, performing the rotations gladly. They've done very, very well. They've pulled themselves an 8 kill advantage right now. Zeus is top of the net worth for their team. Lycan is pulling pretty far ahead of everybody, but here's the big news. The the hero and now the item that pretty much counters the entire push strategy of Virtus Pro has been picked up. Ember Spirit got the Battle Fury. If he gets another Battle Fury, this is definitely a game where you stack Battle Furies. There is so much to cleave down. Maybe he goes Crystallis into Battle Fury 2.0, but let's actually look at the bottom lane. We'll see Jonam Earth Splitter even thrown out for that kill. Just a lonely Ogre Magi, but Jotam, I'm sure he's caused uh, everyone he's played against a lot of pain with his support rotation, so they'll make sure to kill him. Looks like, uh, who's pinging that? Virtus Pro? I mean, obviously they know they've warded it. Vega might be saying, hey, there's a ward here. This is actually a really, it's, it's so aggravating to de-ward, like, Unless you have a spell that gives vision, because as as dire, like this isn't really a good ward. So like you don't want to ward it to get the vision up there to then deward with the sentry, and you can't force staff or blink. You might be able to blink on this cliff, but you cannot force staff onto it, and it's really aggravating. I've seen some really funny things with uh, obviously the terrain being still. I mean, compared to how long Dota's been around, the terrain changes are still pretty new. Uh, I've seen some teams trying to force staff up there for like 10 minutes, <laughs> trying to deward. Can be aggravating, but uh, for Radiant, it's one of the best spots to ward in the game once you've got down the uh, bottom tier one tower and also the middle tier one tower.
watches the ancients, watches any rotations farming in between the two lanes, or anyone moving between the lanes, so you know where to smoke ink, or you know who's in the bottom lane, so if you smoke ink, you can go up top to uh, the dire jungle, something like that. It's helpful. Meanwhile, Ember continuing to farm already up to another 1,200 gold. Actually stayed on treads, finished the drums, has the poor man shield in a bottle. So we might want to finish the phase with the uh, 1,200 gold. And here they go. They've got the lightning bolt, so they'll be able to bring it down. Pending some misses. All right, Phoenix level 14 right now. Two points in a supernova. Now, what is it, seven attack to destroy? It's really the level 16 one that, that hurts. 10 to destroy. Gotta quickly check on the Roche, make sure he didn't run off. Or that maybe VP or, or perhaps Lycan. Lycan's been off the map for a while, I think. They see him farming middle now, but maybe he was smoked up trying to uh, sneak that Roche. He's got the Necro 3. I think VP waiting on some item progression before they go for that next push. They've got the Aghanim Scepter on BZZ, so the Poison Nova damage is going to be really, really terrifying. Can he get it off, though? He has no Blink. No, I mean, Shadow Blade's cheesy, but he doesn't have a Shadow Blade, doesn't have Blink, doesn't have Force Staff. He might struggle to actually find the uh, the opening for a big Poison Nova, at least on more than one person. Jotam working towards the Ags on the Ogre, not a surprise, and this is what Phoenix was just checking for as... They're about to kill BZZ. Where did he run off to? He TP'd back to base. Sunroy was bringing him down, but the pings come in. Sedoi's going to the pit, but it's almost already dead. This is the unveiling Necro 3 here. Roshan will be the first to see it and feel its pain. He goes down. God, with that Lycan skin, going to go ahead and, and get out of there with the Aegis. Got to go Midas something. Got to farm. Got to go fast. Got to get that goal. He Midas is nice. Yol in the top lane throws out the black hole. Kind of wasting the cooldown. He's hoping that Sedoi will get involved. Yol actually survives, but there's no follow-up here. Jotam TP's in, but he's also going to go down. He's trying to bring down the Ember at least, but he, he can't do it. And they lose two heroes for nil. I guess they gave up the Roche. Now they're trying to bring down Sedoi, and they should have no problem doing it. Oh, the Orchid comes out, but with the attack speed slow, he has some spirits worse shot. He's got no chance, and even the Thunder God's Wrath gets thrown out there, getting another kill. Uh, on that Phoenix. He's had a, a really big impact this game. 11, 6, and 2. All of his abilities maxed right now. Gonna get his, well, ultimate in 9 experience will be maxed. And there it is. So Pasha is 100% online. The egg does not need as much protection anymore. So that's gonna be a pretty terrifying ability. Yeah. 3,000 gold. I'm surprised he didn't try to upgrade these boots either to phase or to boots of travel. Not doing it yet. Saving up that 3k. He's like, maybe I'll just go another Battle Fury. There's a lot of stuff to cleave down. No one's in some trouble. Yol trying to give chase. He'll start off with the Malefist. The Sunray, though. The heal. Trying to keep him alive. Lycan hits a little too hard. Now Sedoi. Gonna get some revenge on this Phoenix. The Orchid goes out. Soulburn, if nothing else, should kill him. Yeah, Nature's Prophet to get the kill. Ember Spirit and crew to retreat. Arzak wasn't around, so they probably don't want to fight, having lost two of their damage dealers. And with that, I think they'll transition to the, the middle lane push. Necronomicon 3 was used in that fight. So they are running out now. They'll try to bring down Seema the Slayer. He's going to pull him behind the tower. He's got a Shallow Grave. No, he'll get silenced. He's trying to hold it to the last minute, but Sadoi. That backfires there for the Dazzle. They'll bring down BZZ. Again, he dies, did not find the Poison Nova he was looking for, and I mean, the ability is only a 120 second cooldown. All right, it's pretty long. <laughs> I didn't think it was that long. 60 second though at level 16. And you can safe lane farming, look how far behind he is. The off lane Phoenix is three levels ahead of the farming BZZ, or, or was it really the feeding BZZ? He's three, eight, and six. Uh, hashtag space created, I guess. He did have a pretty hard time at the bottom lane, so he's he's really far behind. If he had a 60-second ultimate, that would be pretty unreal right now. I'll bring up the graphs for you guys. I know Twitch chat, you guys love your graphs. Math is your favorite subject. Even, looks like Vega starting to pull ahead in gold. Uh, they've been ahead in experience, already pushing 8, 9k uh, in experience. 
And yeah, I, I look at Twitch chat. Holy crap. I'm censoring that magic damage. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of magic damage on Vega, which means anyone going to go for pipe? Yeah, we see Yol. He's going for it. He went for the mech. It's because there is physical damage, too. You want some armor auras with Elder Titan taking away all your base armor. So the mech is good. The Vlad's is really good. That's actually enough to eh, sort of counteract the, uh, the Elder Titan. Of course, they're taking away your magic uh, resistance as well. And Zeus, Ember, Phoenix, they're loving that. So, I'm going to build up the pipe. The Hood of Defiance is there on Yol. He's got the headdress, too. So, he's actually very, very close. Uh, what are we looking at? 760 gold away from finishing up the pipe of Insight. That'll be really good for Virtus Pro. Might actually give them a chance in the next team fights. So far, they've really been playing like a pick and roll, a pick and push sort of offense. And it hasn't got them that far in the kills as they are trailing by 10 right now. It's 26 to 16 in favor of Vega. We're looking really, really solid. Or maybe Virtus Pro showing up and being a little flat today. Who knows? Not this Lycan. God, 1, 2, and 8. Not on a hero that's super flashy and gets a lot of kills early, but he's definitely been involved. 183 CS. Top of the net worth at 14.4k. He's about to finish the BKB. There's not much of an answer to him after he gets that BKB. He's going to probably, if there's an Orchid on Ember, he's going to focus the Ember. They might want to go for the Dazzle first, too, just in case he graves. Because if he graves, Ember probably gets away with the Remnant, I'm sure. So we'll see what they want to do there. So far, the pushing strat didn't really work out. They got all the Tier 1s somewhat cleanly. But after that, have they even touched tier 2s? Up top is full HP. Middle lane is basically full HP. Bottom lane is basically full HP. They're even on towers with Vega, who don't have a pushing lineup, even remotely have a pushing lineup. They've just been winning the team fight so hard that no one's alive to stop them. Oh, Cameron, no. We'll, we'll go here. Oh, it's early, man. Can't take these pauses in the early day, early morning. Phoenix went for the four staff. I feel like Phoenix item builds, like these four items here, the Tranquil Boots, the Urn, the Mech, and the Magic Wand are, are so core. Like he always gets those. But it's when you're having a good game and you're like, What's my fifth item? Or what's my real like first item, I guess, after those cores? Four staff is always going to be good, right? I mean, it's great utility for you or your team, or even just four staffing the enemy into you sometimes, which is hilarious. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of choices. I, I, the choice is not Ags. Ag Scepter and Phoenix, while hilarious, I feel like it's terrible. Uh... Well, actually, there's some cool things you can do. Like, for instance, let's say Phoenix and uh, Enigma are on the same team, right? Enigma's got a long cooldown. He doesn't have a refresher yet. You're like, well, we think the black hole blink is maybe more important. So you could egg, you could bring in Enigma, and then on the rebirth, it'll refresh his cooldown. So, like, you can get your big abilities off a of cooldown, and the other team won't know. So if they were keeping track, like a timer, like, all right, they use black hole. They're not going to have it until 34 minutes. And then suddenly, like, they just fight and they have Black Hole. You're kind of like, what? So I, th I think it has some merits. And in a late game, I feel like you probably go for it. Um, and I guess there's the odd clutch scenario where, like, you actually bring in an ally. You both live and you both have your cooldowns restored in a fight. But that seems unlikely because if you're Phoenix in the egg, you pull someone else into the egg, you've, like, taken away the people that are protecting the egg. So the enemy team probably just kills it and you both die. But anyways, Shiva's also good. Lincoln's also good. V Vlad's is good too. I mean, any aura items I think are great on Phoenix. I'm not sure how the auras work if you're in the egg, if they disappear or if you still give them off. Who knows? You learn something every day when you talk about Dota. I'm sure somebody knows. I don't know, but I don't. I'd like to think they still uh, radiate from the sun.
<laughs> Sorry, minimize. Skype. Funny, funny stuff. Um, yeah. Black King Bar. What else do I need to talk about? I feel like I've kind of covered everything. There's the bloodstone on Zeus. I don't get it, but whatever. He ain't dying, so I guess I'll use all that mana. <laughs> I'm being asked to strip. That's against the terms of service. I don't want to get Beyond the Summit taken off uh, the air again. The bathtub interview was enough for you guys. Just go watch that on replay. Yule Scepter on the Elder Titan. Very popular choice. Cancel TP is a little bit quicker. Sometimes it goes stop not quite fast enough. Good utility to keep yourself alive. Force your enemy to focus a different target. It looks like we're finally good to go here. It's been a long day of delays across all the Star Ladder regions, but I think China and Southeast Asia finished up as there's actually people watching this one now, so welcoming, welcoming in all of you guys coming from the other streams. You're watching Beyond the Summit 2, Star Ladder Season 11 Europe. The first best of one of the day, Vega, formerly known as Europub, going up against Virtus Pro, and not just going up against, they're kind of destroying them. Eh, okay, maybe that's too grand of a term, but they're doing quite well. You can see they're 10 kills ahead. They're leading on... Uh, they were bringing Gold Graph back around a little bit. They're leading on experience. We'll call it 7.5k. Graph flattened out because we've been paused for the last 10 minutes, it feels like. Lycan's still the net worth leader here for Virtus Pro. I think I've said it a hundred times now, but he's going BKB. He's about a thousand gold away from it. We'll look at Sadoi. He's going to find Stall, Leonor, but he'll actually throw the BKB. Saw that Enigma was there. Didn't want to get Malefist. Black Hole, like I said, teams at this level keeping timers. They might know that it was coming up pretty soon. And it was. It was like one second away. So he'll BKB take the Remnant and just go back and farm the Ancients. That was his, what, 10 second charge? It's not amazing for him, but better than dying, I'm sure. And again, still hasn't decided on an upgraded boot, so you would expect the Boots of Travel coming out next. There's the BKB for Lycan now. Will be 10 seconds. Vega, they don't have much to deal with this. So if you're just pro, I think maybe they smoke up off of that, push out their lanes, get all their lanes across the river and, and look to smoke. Transition that kill that you hopefully find uh, into some Tier 2 towers and, and bring their push strategy back online because if it doesn't work soon, I don't think it's ever going to work. Stalioner here is going to have a double Battle Fury build, I'm sure. Elder Titan is already incredibly hard to push into. He'll start leveling up his Earth Splitter some more here. And uh, it's actually, I'm sure they're all doing it now. I've just been a spectator in most of the games. Oh, it doesn't refresh ultis? All right, that's a good point. Sorry, I have to redact some statements made earlier. It won't refresh ultimates, the Phoenix Egg. So, yeah, like the... Oh, crap, Twitch chat moving too fast. Uh, I can't remember who said it, but... For instance, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis on Terrorblade or any of the other big abilities. Uh, also, Precision Aura on Drow Ranger, I guess, would be another long cooldown for a regular ability. Uh, so, whatever. There's some neat stuff you can do for it. And then, also, I redact the statement even further. Ags on Phoenix is bad. Don't buy it. It is really fun in pubs, though, because it's really trolly, and you can just kill your teammates. Yes, that's what pubs are about, guys. Killing your teammates. Ah, the quickening. All right. The quickening. Lycan picks up the haste. We'll farm with it. Let's look at the Roche. It's coming back up in anywhere from two to five minutes. I'm sure the timer will pop momentarily. The Christmas trees on the scout from Sadoi. All of them scouting. Sadoi getting lazy. Come on, Sadoi. Freaking tab control and move them out across the map. You could have vision here, 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 and in the Roche pit. I thought you'd be seeing anything anyways because they're all in the middle lane right now. Maybe looking to smoke as a Dazzle. That's someone's items we haven't checked. Arcane Boots, Medallion, Magic Wand, and the Four Staff. So, well, Dazzle items. Doesn't have an urn because Phoenix went for it. They smoke up from the middle tier too. Pings come out from purple, kind of across the middle lane. Maybe expecting this? I mean, look how defensive they're being. Sedoy and Yol are by a mid tier 2. Behind the bottom tier 2 is BZZ. The only one pushing here is God. 
I guess he's willing to, like, all right, if they're ganking me, whatever. They'll just kill me. They won't get anything else out of it. Way too far away to push a tower. They'll find Jonam still. Even as defensive as Virtus Pro is playing, they'll give up one. It's fine, though. It reveals it, and God is like, all right, I'll take a tier two tower. Maybe even put some damage on the tier three. Either way, he's forcing back some TPs, and there they are. Ember Spirit going to be the first one to go in. Oh, and he will land the Searing Chains. A little bit of RNG landed onto God. But not going to pursue it any further. Lycan back to farming. And that's what we see a lot from Lycan on the Radiant side. He'll just infest the top lane and the enemy jungle. So he pushes out. He forces Vega to come back to push out that lane. And he's taking away their farm in the jungle. So taking away some farming space. It's pretty annoying. Probably why he's still so far ahead in net worth. Vega more concentrating on killing people. I don't think they've seen a tier 2 tower in a little while. Maybe they just glimpsed at bottom, but no, it hasn't even taken damage, so probably not. Ah, uh, there, they see it now. Phoenix jumping in. He'll land the Fire Spirits. He's got an egg here pretty soon. Egg, no, he gets stunned. He could have mech He could have used. He could have done the Nova. He does nothing. Seema the Slayer will die a little bit delayed after the Shallow Grave here. Let's watch him fall. He falls there. Now, Yol and Gon chasing away Arzek, and things were looking good for Vega, but after that, failed aggression. They're starting to look... A little grim. They'll go in and check Roche. It's back in a minute and 18 seconds. And the courier is going to go down as well. 200 gold on it. I'm guessing sentries or maybe some TPs. And Thunder God's Wrath. You can't run from heaven, but if heaven isn't chasing you, it doesn't really matter. That's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, I'm distracted. It'll be worth it. Hopefully no one dies. Probably not worth it. Anyways, here we go. No one in some trouble right now. Sprouted up. Silenced as well. Has no way to get out of that. He does have 11 charges on his bloodstone, so we're respawning quickly. Yo, I'm gonna jump in. Two-man black hole. Maybe not even necessary, but style points regardless. And now Ember Spirit cleaving it up, doing a lot of damage. Look at the stomp! He slept every single person right now, I guess, except Venomancer. BZZ not quite there. Phoenix jumps in now. The Sun, 10 attacks, 2 destroy. Can they find it? Yol will die, but so will the Phoenix. BZZ getting back involved. Doesn't want to go down again. Doesn't want to take the 10th death. Sadoi will also fall. Double kill here for the Ember Spirit, but he will drop. Did he maybe? Did he kill a Necro unit and explode? Uh, I'm gonna fail at using the combat log. I'm sure. How does this work? Why is it broken? Did my game? No! I think my game just crashed. Oh, that works too. I wonder if that's a bug or I just got DC'd. That PL said no. Um, hmm. I'll try that again. I think I do target. There we go. Uh, oh, we got killed by Venomancer. Okay. I feel like he just died really fast. Apparently not. He's just probably looking at this attack, attack, attack. Literally just stood there and attacked Ember Spirit. How does that even happen? How many times did it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess he was orchided, right? Oh, that was right. He was orchided. And then he just got attacked nine times by Nature's Prophet. That's pretty funny. That's unfortunate. He had a BKB. Did he BKB too early and then it ran out? I think he did. I think he might have BKB'd when he was uh, going in for... I don't know. I can't even remember, but whatever. That was the disconnect. We'll blame it on that. Threw me off. Arzek, 4 staff Yules. Also 4 staff Yules. So the utility offlaners got their utility belts active. And we'll have a disconnect here. Uh-oh. I don't know what that means, guys, but... God Hunt is uh, upset.
Oh, I can watch it on the replay right now. Oh, dang it. That was too late. The replay just went into pause. And by replay, I mean the stream. Gop. Nice pick, by the way. I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, anyways, Vega just lost a lot there. They they dropped four. It was Yol that started off things with a decent black hole. Nature's Prophet was able to lock down the Ember Spirit. Uh, Phoenix maybe had a bit of a misplay, just jumping in that crazy kind of by himself. Didn't even land the Fire Spirits first. I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do. It's not the hardest either, I don't think. Now we've got the blink. So, blink ags on BZZ. Gonna see him already getting a lot more kills, a lot more involved since then. Now, the Lycan is gonna pick up the Assault Curus. He's still top of the net worth, still out there by a large margin, 20.3k. Destroying it right now as Daedalus is the next item choice here from the Ember Spirit. Definitely will be good. Taking away that armor. Got some big right click now just with the base damage. Got some crits. Got your cleave as well. I realize some of those things aren't affected by armor. But don't worry about it. It's going to be good regardless. And then I would honestly, I really would expect another Battle Fury. Like it seems so good against all the zoo strat that uh, VP is rolling with right now. As Arzek will find a D board. Nature's Prophet will let them know that they know. Like, how could they not? He's next to the ward D boarding it, but. That's a, that's a very far astral spirit, I gotta say. Oh, I should have brought through the creeps in the mid lane, too. He would have got so much damage back. All right, 30 to 24. Game, I mean, with the heroes I saw in VP, I thought they'd just be pushing like crazy, but they kind of faltered a bit, made some mistakes. Or maybe it's just the good play of Vega stomping VP from really pushing. They've just been concentrated on pushing all the lanes. They've been separated. Like, BZZ's been in the bottom lane. Lycan's just been pushing top. Um, Sedoi's been dealing with the lanes. Whatever lane he needs to push, he's pushing. They've had their three cores in three separate lanes. Vega's found a lot of pickoffs. They haven't won necessarily any big team fights. The, the biggest team fight I think we've seen it was the one just a couple minutes ago. Uh, that VP won quite handedly, and now Vega, sick of it, they're going to go ahead and buy Besmoke again on Elder Titan and, and see if they can't do anything about this. Meanwhile, they're going to find the Ember Spirit right now. It's going to be slowed down. Also, some fighting by the bottom rune, potentially. No one's going to find the Enigma, who will find a regen. And actually, no one's going to engage on anybody. Phoenix, where are you at, Phoenix? Where's Dazzle? Why is Dazzle dying? Dazzle's in base. Phoenix clearing out some creep waves. Yeah. Hero can actually push, split push pretty hard with once you get levels at this point. Like, two fire spirits and half of a sunray will clear an entire creep wave. Which is nice. And then you can do things like that. Oh, also, I was talking about this cliff earlier. You cannot sunray and land yourself on top of it. Like, it's impossible. Maybe you can actually do it, but it's really low percentage chance. And you just feel like you're on the cliff, and then suddenly you get pushed off, and it's really dumb. Like, also making that hard to do board. But, uh, yeah, game. Going, going a little slower. 7,500 gold lead right now, and actually VP are turning this around. That last team fight, this almost vertical line from 10,000 back to zero in, like, nine minutes. Well, it was from 10,000 back to, like, 1,000 almost in an instant. Over the next minute or two, Vega has been falling behind VP, who is only trailing now six kills. Who's suffering the most? It's actually Elder Titan and Dazzle on the levels and net worth. Yeah, Elder Titan Dazzle also not doing great there either. Jotam is the lowest net worth in the game, playing that five role as he tries to get down that uh, Agadim's Scepter. So far, just the point booster he's been able to acquire. Looking at the Courier. Oh, actually, he lied. He's got the Staff. He's got the Ogre Club. He just needs the Blades of Alacrity. 
And here's that smoke that was purchased up. It's going to be Ember and Elder Titan looking to team up with uh, as guess Phoenix here in the bot lane. Using that Icarus dive to put some extra damage on there. That will find Yol. They'll bring him down. Elder Titan going to throw out an Earth Splitter. Stalin are going to have to BKB up with this physical damage. He's going to be brought down so quickly. He tries to activate the spirit and run away, and he does. The egg. No one there to protect it. Stunned up by the ogre. Two-time multicast onto the ember. They'll bring him down. No trouble. Now Arzak trying to TP out. Can they keep him there? No. Nothing to stop those TPs. Just some armor auras from the Vlads and the AC on Lycan. Uh, oh, there is a sheep stick actually on BZZ, but I think it was literally just delivered uh, after Elder Titan TP'd away. So they'll transition this into a Roche. They already took the first Roche. Looks like they'll get the second one as well. Sheepstick on BZZ, so ready for the late game. Sheepstick on Sadoi, double down on being ready for the late game. Zeus, though, did pick up a refresher. So now he can refresh the Bloodstone. He should never die. Roche goes down to the Lycan. Well, he might die, but it should be a suicide every time, you would hope. Dazzle. 24k net worth just about now. There's ultimate number one. So I may maybe, I mean, obviously to get some intel, I guess, but what are you going to do with 3v5? Just not get picked off, I suppose? Baiting them in, perhaps. Like, hey, there's no Thunder God's Wrath. Let's push, and then... No, he used them both. Just kidding. I don't... I don't agree with that alt. I guess it was so they didn't get picked off. If they did get picked off at that point, they'd probably just lose the game. At least one ultimate will be back up in a minute. Another, what, 150 seconds for the refresher? Lycan continues to hit creeps. He's done very well at that. The pipe is done on Enigma. I haven't noticed it in the fights, but I did call for the item earlier, and then I was happy to see it was almost done. Now it is done. I'm sure it's had its impact. God going to go that slower shape shift, but it looks like he'll still be able to escape. Four staffing trying to find the Yule Scepter was Elder Titan, but he can't do it. So they'll just go back to farming in groups. They're using the buddy system now on Vega as they're about to give up their lead in kills. They were at one point 10 kills ahead in this game. Now they're only, what, five? Things have gone south for Vega. Gonna continue to spam chat. Oh, why not? Bonded, you and I. Cheat, am I? Ember Spirit. Actually, the four staff will keep him out of there. He'll be all right. So they know for a fact now that BZZ's got the Scythe device. Sadoi, I'm sure they've seen him farming on the map. They probably know his is there as well. Uh oh, Zeus in some trouble. Worst case, he uses the Bloodstone to suicide. Or they'll just turn it around. The heal coming out now onto no one. Now the Sunray going to have to be canceled. God has BKB'd up. I think he's going to go for the chase. Now we'll turn around to protect Sedoi. They don't want to split too much. Pasha going to go ahead and TP out. No bash there yet for the Lycan. He's got an Aegis for this, by the way, but he already used the Shapeshift. Now Sedoi BKB's up. Wants to try to turn this around. Some more right clicks on Stalin or if he can find it. The Sheep is there. Now BZZ coming up. Has does not have the poison over right now, but I think BZZ and God got this. They're going to go for the cleanup. It's a double kill right there for BZZ. It's Godlike? Was that Godlike popping up for the Lycan? What is he right now? He's 8 and 2. I think it actually was. And it's a 2 for 3. Uh, actually, 1 for 3. And the buyback now on the Prophet, as that death was the Aegis. We'll hear the Sun and the Black Hole in the bottom lane. The Black Hole Sun, they're bringing down no one right now. I think Pasha on this rebirth with some abilities up might be able to. Nope, can't turn it. Ogre and Venomancer have rotated off that top lane and all across the map. Vega, they lose four. Zeus is able to retreat on his way back to base. Not going to be able to do anything by himself. Double ultimate, though, in 20 seconds. But uh, Vega, they played this game. They stopped the push until the items for VP came online. The Sheep Sticks, the Pipe. BKBs, they group up for a proper team fight, and once they win that team fight, everything else crumbles. All the tier twos are gone now, and after that, that win across the map, the middle racks just vanishes. There's the double ultimate. <laughs> we'll bring down BZZ. He wanted to get another death in there uh, before this game is over. Lycan just decimating top. I mean, this is a fresh necro book. The range racks, the melee racks is going down. The range racks is going down. Two lanes of racks cleaned up here for Viridis Pro. So it looks like it took them a little over 43 minutes, but they should. Uh, looks like Vega not going to call the GG yet, but game 
I would say, effectively over right now with uh, VP's latest achievements. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. Now that's an Aether's Prophet build right there. Orchid, Scythe, BKB. 7, 7, 15. 30,000 net worth on Lycan. What I tell you, every time I cast Beardus Pro, G just plays ridiculously well. I'm starting to think he always plays ridiculously well, but who knows. My sample size is it's not the largest. 4.7k in the bank. Probably... Oh, he already finished Abyssal. He's fine. He doesn't even need another item. I mean, Boots of Travel, I guess, is what you go for. Vlad's is pretty good. You probably don't want to get rid of it, but I guess you can put another item in that slot if you really wanted to. Well... Mm, Alright, looks like they're gonna- are they gonna smoke again? No, they're just gonna walk down the lane as a group. Lycan goes for a heart. What did he replace? He replaced the Vlads with a heart. Alright. Good enough, I guess. There's an egg! On to Jonam, burning him up. That's gonna wake him up from the sleep. The Ignite as well. Lots of burn damage. He will go down. Yol and BZZ maybe now in some trouble. There's a Yul Scepter up, but God with the BKB going to run in. He'll bring down the Ember Spirit so quickly. The right click from Zadoy actually finishes it. Now the Abyssal Blade out onto the Elder Titan. Sima going to keep him up a little bit longer with the Grave. Maybe a lot a bit longer. As G continues to chase up here, he'll find the Dazzle and bring him down. Pretty much no problem. Phoenix is like, don't make any noise. Don't make any noise. Use the TP. I did not know you could... All right, there you go. While you start moving, start TPing with the Sunray. That's pretty cool. TP's out of there. Looked a little buggy. Looked like the TP animation disappeared. Maybe that's because he TP'd out, but who knows. Did I mention that's really early? Another sheep going to cancel the stomp. It doesn't even matter. They finish off. Uh, looks like the melee Rex was actually still standing there. They finish off that. And I'll transition to Bond, and that's going to fall. Vega going to be forced to type out the GG here pretty soon, or the throne's just going to explode anyways. Arzak in some trouble. There's the black hole, but immediately canceled by a Yule Scepter. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, it must have been Phoenix's Yules. Now, Beyond Godlike with that double kill. God doing exceptionally well. That's the full wipe here. Virtus Pro will take it against Vega. It took him 46 minutes, and it was looking pretty rough. Pretty back and forth here, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something out here, guys. You're about to you're about to see your beautiful caster. Hopefully, it's working. Boom! That's me. All right. Uh, well, that's the first game here for Star Ladder 11 Europe. We've got a lot of games coming up to look at. Some of them. Uh, this was VP versus Europub. We've got NIP, which I found out is not ninjas in pajamas. So I'm very upset that they're using that acronym, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring to the table in Dota 2. Uh, NIP versus Virtus Pro Polar, VP versus Cloud9, then a break, Alliance versus NIP, and then very, very last, probably what is the game of the day, we've got Cloud9 versus Alliance. So Virtus Pro are your victors uh, in the first game of the day. I'm your caster, Helium. You can follow me there in the top right corner at Heliumbrella. Buy the ticket, get the Luna set um, for Season 11 of Star Ladder. Follow Beyond the Summit, follow Star Ladder, yada, yada, yada. All right, we'll be back in a bit, guys, so do please stick around.